Next up on copycat.com, how to make a ribeye roast. Hi everyone, this is Stephanie Manley with copycat.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make a ribeye roast. Now this is actually the piece of meat that the ribeye steaks come from. So you know it's wonderful, flavorful, and very tender. Now I bought mine at Costco and there they sell a choice grade of meat. And choice grade is a wonderful grade of meat to purchase because it has some nice marbling on the inside. Now many grocery stores sell choice and select type of meat and the select has a little less marbling and a very few grocery stores actually sell prime beef and you're actually going to see a little bit more marbling. Now during the holidays this is often for sale so sometimes I splurge and buy the prime grade of beef and enjoy that instead. So I'm first going to show you how you're going to prepare this roast. It's very simple. Don't let it intimidate you. We are simply going to season it with salt and pepper. You can't really get meat to marinate all the way through very easily. So we're just gonna coat this again with some salt and pepper, sear this, and we're gonna pop it into a 300 degree oven for a couple of hours. I will link a chart down below in the description box of how long you should cook um, this type of roast. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put just a little drizzle of truffle oil on here. You don't have to do this, just a little bit of oil will often work. I just am doing this so the salt and pepper will stick. Just a little bit. Okay. And in here, I just um, ground up some pepper grounds and I have some coarse salt. And I'm just gonna put this liberally all over the ribeye roast and I'm just gonna rub it in a little bit. And I'm gonna actually rub this around all sides of the roast. So I'm going to brown this for a couple minutes on each side. So we had just finished browning our roast and we're going to pop it into the oven again. Use either a meat thermometer or my handy temperature chart down below and we will come back when this is done. Now I'm going to cook mine to a medium rare to rare because I may reheat this later and if I cook it too long the first time it's not going to be so great when I need to reheat this later. So we'll come back when this is done and we'll show you what a beautiful ribeye roast looks like. So our roast finished up and we checked it with our thermometer. We cooked it to 120 degrees or rather we cooked it to about 118. And as you know, when you pull meat out of the oven, it will continue to rise a degree or two. So pull it out just before where you want it. And then we tinted it with foil. And we let it rest for about 20 minutes. So there are a lot of pan drippings right here. Now you can make gravy out of these or you could even make some Yorkshire pudding. That would be just fantastic with this. So this is gonna get saved. So we're just gonna slide this over here. And then we're gonna go ahead and cut into this roast and show you how wonderful this looks. Alrighty, so you can see our roast is a wonderful medium rare. So everyone here should be happy with this. So I hope you enjoyed this video for our ribeye roast and I hope you give this a try. This is a really easy roast to make and you can find the recipe at copycat.com and I'm all over social media so you can follow me there at Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. You can find me at Copycat Recipes and here of course on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe because we have over 500 videos now of recipes that you can try. Thanks for watching.